All right. So here's our bomb colorimeter. This is, by the way, the final temperature. Here's our initial temperature. So there's an increase in temperature. Uh, we've got our heat capacitor bomb colorimeter. Got the mass. Okay. First question: Is this combustion uh, exo or endothermic? So exo means heat's given off. Endothermic means heat's coming into the system. Exo. It is exo. Do you know why? Uh, yeah, there's several reasons why. You could say. One reason, even if you didn't know what the question was, if it's a bomb calorimeter, it's always exothermic. That's why it's a bomb calorimeter. A bomb, it happens. Explosion. Boom. Combustions are almost always, in fact, I can't think of a counterexample. Combustions are exothermic. Uh, what's another reason? Temperature increase. Uh, and this is the temperature increase of the calorimeter. So the calorimeter got hotter. So the reaction must have given off heat. So several reasons why you could say it's exothermic. All you had to is, you didn't have to give the reason. You just had to say exo or endothermic. Okay. Uh, what is the molar heat of combustion for this methyl ethyl ketone? So, they basically want delta H. Uh, so, I guess what you could do, you could say the sum of Q's, whenever you have a calorimeter problem, sum of Q is equal to zero. You gotta figure out what Q's are here. I'll give you a hint, there's two. So what are the two Q's? Yeah, there's a Q of the calorimeter because it warms up. Okay, the calorimeter, everything inside of it warms up. So there's a temperature change. That's the only thing that changes temperature. Okay, so, and yet, what's the second Q? Did you have it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Q of the reaction. So that's not a temperature change, it's an enthalpy. So there's three possible enthalpies you always look for. <laughs> You say, is there a reaction? Is there a phase change? Is there a solution mixing? Uh, in this case, there's a reaction. The other kind of Q is there's a temperature change. So in this case, they want to know the Q of reaction. That's a delta H. So Q of reaction equals negative Q cal. Q cal, that's a temperature change. So that's negative C delta T. <coughs> Notice I wrote C delta T instead of MCP delta T. Because they didn't give me CP, they just gave me C. Okay? So, uh, C, I've got that check, it's that number right there. I'd want to change that to joules though. So it'd be 3920. Tilt T right there, check. Looking pretty good. Uh, the other thing I'll want to do with this is when I get, once I get that number, whatever it is, uh, let me erase. I'll get this number, so Q reaction, whatever that is. I'm going to go for every one mole of the methyl ethyl ketone, c 4 And then what I, I'm going to do that because I want to, maybe I should write this out. I'll write it out to the left. All right, a little backwards here if you can handle it. I'm going to change this to grams by multiplying by the molar mass. And then what am I going to do? Oh, I got this upside down, by the way. I need to make sure the moles cancel. There's your molar mass. I'm going to do one more multiplication. How many grams do you have? Yeah, by the amount of grams. Now the grams are gone. And it's specific. This was Q of reaction in general. Okay? Whenever you find for a delta H or a Q of reaction, that's in general. You have to specifically convert it so it's for the mass or moles or whatever that they give you. So specifically 0.976. So I gotta make sure I multiply through by that. Is that okay?